Welcome to another video. In many factorial videos, I've seen people wonder why 0 factorial is equal to 1 factorial. And 1 factorial is 1. That one is easier to deal with because it's a natural number. So we're just going to use natural numbers to get 0 factorial. Let's get into the video. Now the first thing we're going to do is write the definition of the factorial. Any factorial which is defined for natural numbers. Now I'm not using the gamma function. I just want to go straight from natural numbers. We know that for any n in the set of natural numbers, n factorial is defined as n multiplied by n minus 1, I'm going to use parentheses, multiplied by, you do n minus 2, okay, you keep going until you get to 1. This is what we call the factorial of a number. We just keep subtracting 1 until we get to the end. So if you take an example, Say you take 3, or you take, let's, let's just take 3, or 4. 4 factorial, for example, is going to be, start from 4 times 4 minus 1. Let's write it that way, actually, because there's a point I want to make. And then we have 4 minus 2, then we have 4 minus 3. Well, because we usually stop at 1, we're going to do 4, oh, I think that's it, actually, that's 1. So we're going to stop here because that would be 1 actually. So this is going to be 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 and that gives us 24. So 4 factorial is actually 24. Based on this example I just did for 4 factorial, you will observe that I could have written this as 4 times 3 factorial because we could have said that Observe that 4 factorial is the same thing as 4 times 3 factorial. Because if you take 3 factorial, you just go from 3 times 2 times 1. Okay? So generally, we know that. So, n factorial is generally just n times n minus 1 factorial. And if you want to break this down, you can say it is n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial. Now, the factorial belongs to the last digit you wrote. It does not belong to everybody. So if I write 2n factorial is the same thing as 2 times n factorial. Note that. So the factorial is not, the, is not 2n minus 1. No, you cannot start your multiplication by saying 2n minus 1. So now let's choose n to be 2. Let n be equal to 2. It's a natural number. We know that 2 factorial will be, if we do this, it's going to be 2 times 2 minus 1 factorial. What is 2 factorial? It's just 2 times 1, right? which is 2. What is here? This is 2. It's just 2. What is 2 minus 1? Oh, it's 1. So this is our 1 factorial. So now, can we isolate 1 factorial? What do we get as our answer? Well, we divide both sides by 2. If you divide 2 by 2, you're going to get your 1 factorial. And what's that? It's equal to 1. So this implies that 1 factorial is equal to 1. And we're done. So we have shown that 1 factorial is 1, but we need to show using this same strategy, I'm sure you can see where I'm going now, to show that 0 factorial is equal to 1. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we say let, let's go to the second part. Let n be equal to 1. We're still going to use this expression. So we know that n factorial equals n times n minus 1 factorial. 
1 factorial will be equal to 1 times 1 minus 1 factorial. We know that 1 factorial is 1. We already showed that in the previous step. So this is 1 equals 1 times 1 minus 1 is 0. So this is 0 factorial, right? So we can get 0 factorial by dividing both sides by 1. So we can say that 0 factorial is equal to 1 over 1, which is equal to 1. No gamma function involved. And no guessing. We didn't guess anything. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.